up everyone? Richard back once again, Mr. Cigar Enthusiast. Uh, before I get, begin today's review, I just want to uh, apologize to all my friends and subscribers out there for, you know, not having a video in the last couple weeks. Uh, I've been extremely busy, you know, with life and with other things. So, again, I want to apologize. And uh, I hope I haven't, uh, you know, disappointed too many of my uh, cigar fans out there by not having a video. And again, I want to thank all my friends and subscribers out there as I do every, you know, every time I make a video, for tuning into my channel, you know, I really appreciate it. So, so let's get the ball rolling with today's review. The cigar I'm going to be reviewing today is the uh, Rocky Patel Cameroon Special. And it's a Honduran cigar, Robusto in size. So, it's a normal size Robusto. Runs about 5 inches in length with a 50 ring gauge. So, that's a nice, you know, nice size Robusto. You know, you'll be smoking it for a while. So they come in bundles of 20. Uh, light to medium bodied flavor. You know, it has a very, uh, you know, has some very unique aromas in there. You're going to get some aromas of wood, uh, a little bit of spices. So if you like a nice light to medium body, if you don't like a cigar that's too strong, you know, you can definitely pick this one up. As I said, it's a Cameroon wrapper. The wrapper is, you know, it's a nice shade of wrapper. Almost like a light chocolatey brown to it. So, so I prepared a uh, clip of the cigar for you guys to take a look at. So let's have a look. So, as you saw from the clip there, as I said, uh, Cameroon wrapper. So it has, a, you know, a nice uh, light to medium chocolatey uh, brown to it. You know, uh, good quality wrapper. From you saw, uh, fr from what you saw of the ash there, the ash is a nice, uh, decent quality. So, it's got a, you know, a good quality tobacco in it. A few, uh, few down points about the cigar I'm going to have to point out. The draw is a little too quick sometimes. So if you're used to a cigar with a you know a medium, you know a medium to normal draw to it, when you start puffing on it right away, you're gonna you're gonna instantly notice the uh, the draw is a little too quick. So just keep an eye out because if the draw, like I said, if the draw is too quick, sometimes the cigar will be too hot. So another thing is, is that even though you light the cigar absolutely perfectly, sometimes it doesn't uh, burn evenly throughout the cigar. One side will be, you know. A little lopsided. The other one, the other side of the cigar will be, you know, trying to catch up. So that's another thing you'll have to look out for. Another thing is when uh, you get to a certain point, uh, the cigar is a little too harsh. So just keep an eye out. Like um, everyone has their own individual tastes and preferences. So some people might not mind if that it's, you know, a little harsh. That you know, and other people. They'll get halfway through the cigar and they'll have to, you know, put it out because, you know, they might find the, the harshness a little overwhelming, so. But other than that, it's a good cigar for the price. A bundle of 20 uh, ran me about $25 US, and I picked them up exclusively from uh, TampaHumidor.com. So here's the uh, URL right here. So if you want to check out Tampa Humidor, you now they got some great prices. Uh, I bought, you know, other cigars from their website. They've always been... Uh, friendly and courteous, so I'll just check them out. As I said, bundles of 20, running about $25 US, which is a great price for a, uh, you know, a good quality cigar. As I said, Rocky Patel, you know, they're synonymous in the cigar world for making really high quality cigars, so. This particular cigar was introduced in 2008, so it's a, you know, fairly new cigar to the market, so I'm sure they, they have a lot of, you know, work cut out for them to try and make this cigar better. I mean, overall, you know, it's a really good cigar. But for some, uh, you know, aficionados out there that are used to smoking Rocky Patels that are of the highest quality, then they pro they're probably not going to like this cigar. But for the average Joe Blow like myself, you know, this is a good cigar. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Um, I hope uh, everyone enjoyed uh, today's review. I'll be back soon enough. So, 
again, I want to apologize for, you know, not having a video in the last few weeks. And I want to thank all my friends and subscribers out there. So, have a nice day, guys.